Speak up, stranger. Dost thou crave wine, ale, or spirits? Well, actually, what I'd like right now is spirits. And it is to that end that I've brought you Bauchman Botanical Rum. Uh, Indigo and I spotted this at uh, the local uh, uh, booze shop, and uh, we, we have been curious about it for like a wicked long time. We haven't actually gotten around to buying it because it's not cheap. It's about $50. Um, but it, it looked so fascinating and sounded so fascinating that we were like, all right, fine, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this. And it was our anniversary, so I figured, what the hell, uh, I'm going to buy the, uh, the fancy rum uh, so that we can have that after dinner. And we did. But uh, uh, the Balkan Rum, is, it's, it's a very interesting animal. Uh, what it comes down to is, think of it like this. What is gin, really? It's pure grain alcohol that has been evaporated through a chimney, essentially. And the chimney is stuffed with botanicals. Uh, I saw this uh, process uh, performed uh, at the uh, Cooperstown uh, uh, distillery. So they basically, they have a big huge still... Uh, full of uh, grain alcohol, let's call it vodka, um, and they boil that, and, and it forms into steam, which goes up the chimney, through the chimney, and it, it kind of mingles with all of the, the juices from all of those uh, herbs and, and, and botanicals, right? Uh, at the top of the chimney, it then reaches sort of a weird little um, U-bend, almost, uh, like a turlet, and goes, and goes downward into a collection pan. And then they take that same booze that fell down into the collection pan and they pour it right back into the still and they boil it several times so that each time it goes through the chimney, it, it picks up a little bit more of the flavor. You can put this much of this botanical, that much of that botanical, and you can run it this many times or that many times and it will completely change the flavor profile of the booze. Um, this is exactly what Balkman Rum uh, has done with rum instead of vodka. Uh, so the end result is that this this stuff is, is infused with uh, all of these different flavors. And I had a feeling about it because you, I mean, just from that description, you can kind of go, wow, that's either gonna be really good or really bad. It, it, there, there isn't like a middle ground with this one. It's, it's gonna be kind of a, a big flavor no matter what. The good news is uh, it went in the direction of really good. Uh, you may notice that my Balkman rum has a red top on it, uh, which has a, a strangely familiar uh, design uh, on the cap, which looks exactly like the cap of a bottle of... Oh my god, Indigo, what the hell? It's, I can't remember the word. Drambuie. It's the, it's the top from a bottle of Drambuie, and that is because as much as I like this rum, the cap for their bottle sucks. Uh, this is a piece of it. It's plastic. It's clear plastic. It's meant to match the bottle. And it's a uh, little ridged part down here is supposed to have a cork attached to it. But unfortunately, when you try to pull this out of the bottle, uh, it leaves the cork in the bottle. And then when you fidget with it, trying to get this to stick back into the cork, it just shoves the cork into the bottle. And that kind of sucks. So Balkman, that's literally my only complaint guys I, I don't want to trash talk you here because that is um the rest of the packaging is gorgeous i love the color of the glass i love the shape of the bottle your artwork is terrific um and evocative of a, a culture of ritual and uh, uh mystery this is a, a haitian tradition this uh this infused rum and uh i'm i'm thrilled by the whole goddamn thing so please don't make any mistake uh, I would offer this rum to Baron Somedy himself. It is that good. Uh, but the cap kind of blows. So uh, we put this on there instead. Going to go ahead and pop that off and pour myself just a little bit. What we got here is a nice golden color. A gorgeous honey hue uh, that, uh, that slurps around the glass. Not a lot of legs on this thing, if you're looking at it from a term of, of wine. It's, it's got a thin film around the bottom of that glass, but nothing, nothing major. And, uh, and then the nose on it is like, like nothing else you've ever experienced. It, it's like stepping into an old-timey potion shop. 
Uh, honestly, in the video game, I went to the bartender to say, hey, barkeep, can I get some spirits? But I might as well have gone to that hermetic mage because this stuff really smells arcane. Um, there are floral notes mixing with the sugariness of the rum. There are earthy tones floating around in there. There's something bitter about it at the same time as something being sweet. It's just, there's a little bit of everything in there. And <laughs> if you want your rum fighty, you shall have your fight right here. Uh, because this rum doesn't want to go down easy. It's, uh, it's got a lot of burn to it. And honestly, uh, there's a, there's a, a numbing effect on the tongue, uh, but not until after the burning effect on the tongue. Uh, either way, it, it has a certain anesthetic quality uh, after the fact. All of the flavors come out slowly. It doesn't hit you at once with all of the botanicals. It hits you at once with the rum. But then when you breathe afterwards, and I'm talking right now, so I'm not getting it, but when you when you take a sip and you breathe... It's like a, a vapor of incense uh, rolling in and out of your mouth. It, it, it has this certain je ne sais quoi, and I don't know what it is. That's, that's a smart joke, if you... If you all right. No, but uh, it, it really does have this sort of magical property. When I, when I drink this, I feel like I had some sort of ailment whether it was a bum knee or a serious case of the poopy butt um, or, or I came down with a hysterical blindness and then I was approached by an old woman with colorful golden rags and, and just beads on every corner of her body and she just handed me this glass and said drink this boy it'll have you right as rain in no time you know and I take a sip of it and I go <laughs> and she goes that's good for you boy and slaps me on the back and I go what the hell was that who the hell are you and then she's gone she just disappears um and that's that's the vibe that I get out of this thing is is it's there's a there's a magic to it. And uh, I, I really, really like that quality about it. Now, let's get a little more in depth, shall we? Because if we're gonna be working with alchemy and sorcery, we may as well go ahead and try some experiments. So what if I were to take some of this here fever tree tonic water? Rum and tonic? Have you gone mad? Yes, yes I have. Let's just put a little of that in there. Well, what do you know? Even more aromas. And it's it's more effervescent. It's pouring out of there. As though I should breathe deeply of these fumes before going on some sort of mind-altering journey with a spirit guide. I, I, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about here. The flavor is completely altered. Uh, more bitterness, obviously. It's tonic water. But all of the floral qualities of the rum have come out. The sugariness has been sort of suppressed a little bit. It's been thinned. It's been watered down. But this is the same reason why you enjoy drinking a glass of scotch with a big ice cube in it. Because over the course of drinking that glass, the ice cube melts more and more. The water concentration rises. The whiskey concentration shrinks. And the flavors change and evolve that's why this thing with some tonic in it or with a big old ice cube becomes a whole different animal and if you're not careful you can get stuck in pretty good to that bottle because <laughs> 
Indigo and I started experimenting with different uh, uh, possibilities here. We were, we were drinking uh, uh, with ice, without ice. Oh, what if I have one glass running that doesn't have ice in it and a glass that does? Let's hold these side by side and sip them back and forth. What if instead of mixing the rum with tonic, I drink just the rum and then I have a tonic chaser? And the next thing you know, we may have kind of knocked out a quarter of a bottle. So it was our anniversary. We were celebrating. It was a good time. Uh, and if you get into a situation like that, I recommend you go ahead and nab yourself two Tylenol and a big cup of water before you go to bed. And then you won't wake up feeling like, yeah, we were fine. You won't wake up feeling like shit. But I imagine this stuff can uh, knock you out pretty damn good uh, if you let it. And that is sort of like making a deal with the Baron himself. There's a price, but you're going to have a good time. And so uh, that is my official word on Balkman Botanical Rum. Yes, it is 46 American dollars. Yes, it is worth all 46 of them. Get your ass to your nearest local, local liquor store and nab ye a bottle because this shit is mighty fine. All right, let's get back to the old game, shall we? Uh.